making a dolphin and a heart. We're missing an alligator. An alligator. There's no cheese in there. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Somebody ate it. You want some cheese? Here it goes. Pretty amazing what we can do in a small space. Uh, Marissa can work out. Hensley's got Play-Doh. Of course, she can still play in the back if she wants to. It's not at all fancy, but I've got my stand-up desk back here in the back if I need it. We just continue to be impressed with what we can do in such a small space. Hey, do you want to go show everybody your room? What yeah. we did in your room? Yeah. Come on. Wow, you didn't put your animals up last night, did you? Uh-oh. <laughs> That's right. Where do they go? So Hensley needed a place to sit in her room. And so we thought, well, we'd like to get a bean bag or something like that. But then we thought, I wonder if they make something where you can put stuff in a bean bag. What are you doing? <laughs> Come here. Come in here and help me. Come help me put the animals in here. And so they make a bean bag with a zipper on it. And you can put all your soft animals in it. And then that makes a place oh, no. to sit. Put a eagle. Good job. Who else? Dinosaur. Who else? And then once everything's in the bag, she's got a place to sit. And then she's still got space. She's got a place to put her animals. Uh, we put this blue carpet in here. Marissa's still seeing how she feels about that. Put up the chalkboard from Hensley to draw on. I'm playing with different things I can store stuff in. I found these at Ikea. They're soft, so they got some flexibility to them. We need them, but they're the right size to fit up top up here and i haven't done it yet but i'm hoping to put a shelf here that'll like a flip down sort of like my stand-up desk shelf for hensley and then she can play on that shelf so one of the worst things about legos is when you get them out and pour them out they get all over the place so we got one of these bags draw string on it and all the legos Stay in this area. Look at that, Hensley. It's so much easier to clean this up with this. Because when you get done, you just, and it's ready to go. And so I'm sure some of you are thinking, wait a minute, <laughs> you guys are at Wilderness Lakes RV Resort. Isn't that a Thousand Trails Park? Which it is. We went back and forth on whether or not we want to get a Thousand Trails membership for two years. And just our travel style of quickly moving from one place to the other and needing to be in an ideal location, we just didn't feel like it was a good fit. On this route, we knew we wanted to come here for the rally uh, and stay five plus nights. It was going to end up being 60 bucks a night. So we're going to have 300 bucks into staying at this park anyways. Uh, so we went ahead and got the two zone pass. We got the Southwest and the Northwest for 500 bucks. And then we also added on the Encore parks to that for another 200 bucks. Looking back, I think it's gonna be pretty easy for us to get our money out of the Thousand Trails part of it. But the Encore park add on, I don't know yet whether or not we're going to get our money out of that in a year or not. And so if you haven't heard of Thousand Trails, um, there are lots of different RV clubs, lots of different memberships. Uh, I'm going to like, from the spectrum, Good Sam, I would put like in the, uh, there's tons of them. They give you access to all kinds of parks, good location, bad location, thousands to pick from uh, would be Good Sam. But it's very affordable to buy. It's in like the whatever, $30, $40 range to buy that, but you only get 10% off a uh, park when you use it. Versus something like Thousand Trails, I would put on the other end of the spectrum where it's not as cheap to buy it. You're looking at $500 plus to buy a membership, but uh, once you've paid that initial fee, if you're gonna use Thousand Trails enough, um, you can stay in these parks with a 100% discount, but, and this is one of the reasons we hadn't gotten it yet, uh, but there's not as many of the parks to choose from. Far here at Wilderness Lakes has been pretty good. Uh, the staff's been nice. Um, most of the sites that we've seen that we looked at are 30 amp. I mean, it, it's not a super fancy RV park. If one, I understand most of them aren't. But when we've, been, we've been staying in the middle of nowhere with no hookups at all. I mean, <laughs> we're cool with 30 amp full hookups. We're like, yes. So it's, it's not that big of a deal to us. All right, good job. Got mustard, Mom. Is my sandwich done? Hensley made everybody sandwich. Good job, Hensley. They do have a laundromat here, which we debated about using. We might still use the dryer, but uh, figure we'll just use our washing machine. We've got it. Get this stuff. And we're, uh, we're still liking the combo unit. You like it? When you need it, you need it. And it's really handy. Mm. And if the campground's got a laundromat, usually we'll use that. Like we have one now, but it's just, we have full hookups and it's handy to have it in our house. So that's when it comes in handy that 
I don't have to go sit in a laundry mat. I mean, we can do laundry in our home and then it's not taking up the space when we're not using it. Well, our favorite campgrounds are the ones that have a laundromat you can walk to. So we walk, we load the clothes, we come back to our camper and then we get done. We just, we don't have to sit there. I mean, that's just, that's what's the worst, just sitting there for an hour or two um, doing that. It's not been bad though. Laundry. No, it really hasn't. Laundry not nearly really as bad as we thought it would be, well, I think. Well, we thought like having a washer and dryer was, um, like a deal breaker, but it's actually not been as bad as I had anticipated. I'm gonna say this is about a fourth or a third the size of a normal washer and dryer. So it definitely does take longer to do laundry, but um, you, still better than nothing. Thank you, Mom. Oh, you got your sandwich? Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh -uh. <laughs> you want broccoli, carrots? And there's downsides to me in a small space, but one thing that's really cool, like prep lunch right here, Refrigerator's right here. <laughs> Stove is right there. I mean, everything is like in this tiny little area. So you might get dizzy, but you can get it done really fast. <laughs> I'm about to take a break from washing clothes. I've done like five loads. <laughs> These things are everywhere. So we're about 10 sites from where the full-time family stuff takes place. Most everything's gonna be down here. This is like the main playground. Oh my goodness. And it poured. There's like a pond in the middle of the playground. <laughs> What happened to her? <laughs> <laughs> this is called making a lemons into lemonade, I guess. <laughs> well, I just spent an hour doing laundry. Yeah, well, she's making it's more. It's like the for most you. unmanly thing I've ever said. But... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. I was helping create dirty laundry. Yeah, yeah, she's. <laughs> she's having a blast. It's like a combination of swinging and swimming. We're like, you know, we're just. Yeah, does she need her floaties done. on right now? I know, What's going right? on here? Hensley Beth. driving around here so we're heading to Target we're gonna grab some food we've got a potluck tonight if you've never heard of a potluck um, it's an instant potluck instant potluck is that what it's called yeah what are we buying well we're just bringing a dessert <laughs> so we're just have some instant dessert from Target <laughs> but uh, most people are gonna have uh, something they made in their instant pot because when you have these potlucks at full-time family stuff it's just Instant Pots everywhere. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. They are so nice. We love our Instant Pot. So that's basically what a potluck is, is you've got everybody just kind of brings something. Sometimes you have a list that says, hey, I'll bring dessert, I'll bring a salad, I'll bring this, I'll bring that. And sometimes everybody just brings a bunch of stuff and you never know what you're gonna get. So I like a wild variety of things to eat. So I love potlucks. <laughs> I don't know if it's a Southern thing or what. Is, is potluck like a Southern thing? I think everybody does a potluck. Okay. So. Not all these people are southern. No, that's true. So it's just a it's just a thing. We did a potluck the other night, and we were the only ones who brought dessert. So we're starting to think we're the only ones with sweet tooth. But there were like 15 families there. <laughs> the only dessert was ours. So I'm just gonna make sure that everybody has something sweet. We now that might be a southern thing. So the sun's setting. 
figure it's just as good a time as any to wrap up the day. What do you think, Hensley? Did you have fun today? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> I beat mud for the ducks. Mud for the ducks? <laughs> so if you're interested in RV memberships and clubs and that kind of thing, um, I've made another video about it. Uh, it's on our Patreon channel. There's quite a bit to the memberships and clubs and all that kind of stuff. Um, I by no means can like clarify all that in like a 10 or 15 minute video, but I attempt to do that on a video I made uh, for Patreon. If you want to click the link below, I've got more info on that uh, with that link. But yeah, it's been a good day. A lot of different stuff going on, but in an RV, we've always got a lot of different stuff going on, I think. Marissa should be here any minute with the dessert. We're gonna get it safely back to the potluck and we will catch you guys later.